Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Big Jim's Workshop. Today, um, since the desk is all finished, um, I think we're going to get back on the go-kart. <laughs> i got to make some headway on this. I managed to pick up a bunch of the suspension parts. Um, let me show you. What I basically got was a front suspension for another go-kart. Um, I want to say it's, they call it a mini, something like that. I don't know. Basically, it's going to work for what I need. I don't need long travel or anything like that. So now I got to figure out a way to adapt it to the front end of my go-kart. I did manage to go through and clean up everything a while back. Um, all the old stuff is off. I am going to be end up cutting this and this off because I'm redoing the entire control system on it. I never liked how it was set up before. And it's hard to tell. Let's see if I can show it. Basically, I had this big old thing just set up off the front. I hated it. It never really looked right. So I'm redoing it. And what I'm going to do, or at least try, so I don't know if you can see it. If you look at the front of the go-kart, where the cab section is, it comes up, has a bit of an angle, and then comes across, same angle, comes back down. What I wanna do is make a smaller version of that right here, and then another one coming forward, and I'll use that to mount the front suspension to. What I may end up doing, I haven't decided yet, is setting up the rack and pinion system from like a 150 or a 250 go-kart, or even a golf cart. I don't know, I haven't got to figure out the sizing and all that, see if I'd be able to even do it. Because I'm not liking this Pitman arm that I've got on here. It's really short. And with the size of this go-kart, it doesn't really give me much turning radius. So, getting turned around on streets is a pain in the butt. So, with that being said, let's get started working. Let me get you set up on the tripod because, well, I got no one helping me. Give me a minute.
You know what? I'm not happy. Well guys, <laughs> I'm not having a good day. So, first off, my welder's not working. Nothing's working out for me today. So I'm just gonna call it quits today. Call this the end of the video. Uh, come back at you next week. Hopefully working better. Nothing's cooperating. I'm burning the heck out of my arms because my welder keeps spitting. But I did start to get the front suspension going together here. So let me get you turned around. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm basically making sort of like a front bumper section. I didn't like how the old setup was because the angles I've got going so far. Still need more on this, but like I said, my welder's just not working right. I am going to tie it in from up here, probably down to this front bar here. And I'm pieces going in between here and here, I'm thinking. And now stiffen all that up. Give me one. These are the front arms and spindles I bought. They're gonna mount somewhere in here, sort of like this. I'm gonna have to have this bottom one kicked out a little bit more just to give me some camber to it. But that's pretty much how that's going to go. I'm going to have it roughly in this area. I may have to modify some more stuff or something. I don't know. I may end up cutting off that steering arm point there and redoing the whole steering shaft because, well, as you can see, <laughs> um, kind of got an interference fit here. So, I don't know, still figuring all that out. I may convert it so that this actually goes to this side the way it's technically supposed to. Put it over here and just move the arm up or at least the inside of that point. 
That's why I might do. That'll probably work better. Then I won't have to worry about clearance and nothing or anything like that. So, with that being said, we're going to call this one a quits. So, until next time, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you.